A proper installation of a helical pile will help ensure a quality foundation, maximizing load capacity and minimizing settlement. To ensure a quality installation, these installation procedures apply to all types of helical piles, including square shaft piles. Installers should install compliance with all applicable safety codes in effect at the time of installation. The first step to installing a helical pile is locating the correct spot. The location will be determined by the engineering documents for the project. The first section to go into the ground is referred to as the lead section. Proper alignment should be established at the start of the installation. The pile should be installed in a smooth and continuous manner. Adjustment to the pile alignment will be made in small increments during the installation. The alignment should be monitored in two directions, 90 degrees apart. The operator can monitor one direction and the ground person needs to be stationed to monitor the other direction, giving signals to the operator to make incremental adjustments during the installation. The rate of the installation is an important criteria to monitor. The helical pile should advance in the range of 5 to 20 revolutions per minute. With each full revolution of the shaft, the pile should advance the pitch of the helix. The standard pitch of chance piles is 3 inches. If the pile is not advancing properly at 3 inches per revolution for the helix pitch, that can be called spin out. Spin out needs to be minimized as it disturbs the soil and can reduce holding capacity. To help keep the pile from spinning out, the machine needs to continuously apply down pressure to the pile. Square shaft plane extensions are added using a single bolt supplied with the extensions. Extension bolts should be tightened with the wrench a quarter of a turn beyond hand tight. Extensions will be added until the pile meets the installation requirements called out by the engineering documents. Monitoring torque is important during the pile installation. One method of monitoring torque is using the Chance Digital Torque Indicator. This device continuously monitors torque in line with the pile. Installation records should be kept on each pile. One of the most critical pieces of information is the effective torque. Effective torque is the average torque reading of the last three readings at one foot intervals. Other information to record is the project name, pile number, location, depth, and helix configuration. Once the pile reaches the required effective torque to meet the pile requirements, a termination is placed on the pile. A construction is slid over the pile square to be poured into the concrete slab or grade beam. The first new construction cap is for compression only applications with no bolts. The second option new construction cap is for tension and compression applications with bolts. For more information, contact your territory manager or call customer service.